hi everyone welcome back to colouring with Kate thanks for clicking on the video I hope you're having a good day today so I'm filming this on the 28th of June on a Sunday and it's raining outside so you might hear um, the sound of the rain so I hope that's got a calming effect and not an annoying one so um, I thought in this video I shall share my postcard colouring book collection so there's not many that I've coloured in here but I thought it might be good to see the few that I have coloured and also um, show you the you know postcard colouring books that I have so I'm going to start with this one just bring you a bit closer so this one is the first postcard colouring book that I bought and I bought it when I first um, sort of got into colouring so quite a few years back so it's called Pretty Flower Postcards 25 cards to colour and send. It is falling apart now because um, that's what they do usually because you usually take them out to hand hand over to people as gifts. So there's 25 um, postcards here and um, I'm just going to, I'm not going to do full flips or anything, I'm just going to show you a few of the pictures hopefully. So we've got this one that I really like, it's the bees that I really really like as well and then you've got some that I suppose could be that way or that way um, yeah so mainly floral scenes daffodils there so nice springtime colouring um, lilies in a pond so yeah they they are really nice I mean postcard books are good because they so they as they're smaller they're a smaller project so you'll get it done sooner you're less likely to get bored and because it's card you know it can take your watercolor medium well as as well as other media that you might want to use so some foxgloves I think these are I'm not sure um, pumpkins so yeah I have got one colored from here which I colored when I first started coloring and it's actually in a frame so um, this is it, it's like a little sort of a, don't know, greenhouse type thing. Um, so yeah, or maybe one of those wooden things where you put plants under, I don't really know what it, what, what that's called, but you can see that the shading is not great, but you know, I only just started out and you know, I, I like to keep it as a keepsake of one of my earlier pictures. So yeah, so that's that one. So pretty flower postcards. The next one I have is Joyce Blooms to Colour. Now I have the full size um, book of this as well. So this is a postcard version and it's by Ellery Fowler. So you get 15 postcards and 15 gift tags as well. So I'll show you a few of them. So we've got some lovely daisies. Lovely on a black, uh, on a sorry, a white. You know, this is just a complete and utter white background paper. So I really like the stark white background there as well. Um, lovely sort of a tree there I really like this one as well so it's got pictures from the original book um, but scaled down I'm just showing you a few of the pictures if you do want a full flip of any of these um, postcard books let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to do it Blossoms, these look like blossoms to me. So yeah, as the name suggests, Joyous Blooms to Colour, um, the content is pretty much, or the theme is pretty much flowers. You've got a heron here. And then these are the tags that you get, um, which you can cut out and put onto presents and things. So yeah, that's Joyce Blooms to Colour by Ellery Fowler. The next one, so those two books before I go on to the next one actually, these two you can purchase off Amazon as far as I know, especially the Joyce Blooms to Colour, definitely seen that one. I think I've seen Pretty Flower Postcards, it's just that because it's an older book I don't know if um, it's still available but I'm sure it will be. You could check. So next one is... Uh, colour yourself to inner peace, 20 winged animal motifs to colour in and reduce stress. So your or original art by Sue 
I'll, I won't pronounce the surname because I really don't know how to pronounce that so I'm sorry about that. Um, so in here this is a, a really nice book, I mean what you have, let me just show you this example of this ostrich, um, you've got a few key words for the relaxing theme and then you've got other creatures within the main animals, so you've got a grasshopper here um, and a alligator crocodile here, another sort of a animal here and then these little patterns and flowers and things like that, flowers over here so yeah I really like this sort of stuff, So it's great for um, it's great for fine liners so I would prefer probably to use um, water paste fine liners, so your Stadler Tri Plus fine liners would work really good in here as well as any other fine liners so yeah this, this bald eagle has got fish in here, they've got sun and cloud and a bit of rain so yeah I just really like the detail I mean if you're not keen on detail and small spaces then this is probably not the book for you so wood duck got an owl, got acorns here really nice butterfly as well as so you've got a mix of portrait and landscape um, images Sphinx moth I've done one in here, I've done the dragonfly so bring it a bit closer so you can see um, a little bit closer in here so here I used um, my chameleon fine liners I was just trying out the blending with the chameleon fine liners and um, gel pens no pencil, nothing else, just gel pen and fine liners and it was quick to do um, and I really like the result so I completed this on 7th of April so yeah that's um, inner peace, colour yourself to inner peace so that's that one next one I have um, daydreams the out again and so of course we know that this is by Hannah Carlson and I get 20 postcards so it's got the same cover as the original book and you know I think this is cream if you compare it to the colour of the page you can see there that it is on cream rather than on bright white um, so yeah lovely lovely images that we're all used to seeing from Hannah Carlson's books so this is from from the Daydreams book, the jellyfish one. This is a range of her pictures, the fox. I mean, that's that's one of my favourites as well. Um, I haven't actually coloured any in here as yet, so I need to um, I need to get a move on really, because I've had this one for I think a couple of months now, and I haven't coloured in it, which I need to. So that's Daydreams. I've got Winter Dreams, which is also by Hannah Carlson, so I really hope to colour some in the Winter Dreams, especially during um, late autumn and winter time. Some really pretty pictures in here as well, especially this one. I like um, the snowflakes, ice crystals, a little hair. birds in a circular pattern there, that's really nice yeah so I, I like this one as well, this candy cane house so yeah these are some lovely images in here unfortunately like I say I have not coloured in this one either so I really need to, I mean it won't take me that long to finish a page either so that's the Winter Dreams by Hannah Carlson and then another Hannah Carlson one, Summer Nights, um, 20 postcards, I think I might have done one in here but I'm not 100% sure but we'll see. So yeah these are some of the pictures from Summer Nights, yeah, yeah I've definitely coloured one in here because I've just seen it. That one's a nice one, I'll show you the one I've coloured in a sec, so 
um, that's the one with the sunflowers and the butterfly. There it is. So yeah, this is just um, showing you a few of the pages, not all of them. All the frog ones really nice. I've actually got the artist edition of the Summer Nights as well, so the bigger version of this, but not a postcard book. Oh, really want to do this one. Um, I've seen Colour Me Stress Free's um, picture she did on Summer Nights with this same one and she's used gold and black and it just looks absolutely gorgeous, it's outstanding, it's just no other word for it apart from outstanding. So I do want to do that in a sort of a similar style to hers using metallic paints. Um, so the one I've completed in here is this one. So this was completed on the 19th of March, so what I used here was, um, what's it called again now, Bruchel, that's it. So um, I used the Bruchel, Bruchel powders um, and water and that's how I got these mottled sort of effects uh, that you can see here. And then I just got white Posca as well in places and then my insects were completed with, um, well, the Pentel Gel Hybrid, other glitter gel pens, there's a glaze pen, that's the purple bit you can see, and then silver gel pen as well. So yeah, I quite like this and I like, I like the, I definitely like the background effect as well. Um, and then I just coloured the, the edges with a black marker. But yeah, I need to use the brush show, but I'm just a little bit nervous about using it because it does go everywhere if you're not careful and you know you know I don't I don't I'm not as confident as using it as I, sh as I would be maybe if I had more practice with it I suppose um so yeah just to make sure that I don't get into any of these other areas you see it might be difficult I don't want it to run into the actual image so anyway that's um summer nights Hannah Carlson next one is nearly there, nearly finished. Um, the World of Flowers by Johanna Basford. Um, I think this is, um, I'm not really sure, it's obviously in another language, um, but the pictures are obviously from World of Flowers because you can just tell the style straight away. And this is this is only £4.99 on Amazon UK. It's just got some of the most beautiful pictures in. I'll show you the couple that I've completed. So yeah, some are scaled down images. Others just show a section. So um, I like this so much that I got two of these. It's a bee there as well. So yeah, some lovely, lovely um, images from World of Flowers. One of my favourite Joanna Bassford books as well. Um, so the pictures are completed in this one. It's falling apart, but you expect that with a postcard book. So this here is um, one of the pictures I did. So I don't know if you can see, but there is um, glossy accents there on some of the leaves. Leaves. Um, there's gel pen. There's pencil. There's stickles here and here and here and here and this is um, some glossy accents or maybe even glaze pen there I'm not quite sure I can't remember I can't remember what I used here of these sort of uh, water drop effects don't know if you can actually pick those up on the camera these water drop effects but the background's done in a metallic paint as well so yeah that's that's one that I'm quite um, pleased with then the other one I've got also is this one. Again, a metallic background paint. I think that was the Fine Tech Clearo paint for the border. And then I have gel pen, um, fine liner, pencil, the usual stuff that I seem to throw at my pages. And then that's probably just a white Posca where I've done the dots. So yeah, that's another one I completed. So I've done two so far in that book. So 
so um, I don't know how to pronounce that Ein Paradies Voller Blumen Blumen so I probably said that wrong but it's by Joanna Basford World Within Us uh, not Worlds Within Worlds World of Flowers okay Worlds of World World of Flowers that's it okay so that's that one you're probably laughing at me now don't blame you right so next one is or the last one is um, again a Joanna Basford one 50 postcards to colour and send Lost Ocean now this is one that I've done now this is going to have very detailed images so I would only use fine liner and gel pen and maybe pencil for the background because I did use pencil for the actual background but for the actual objects I used lots of different fine liners and gel pens so that's what I've done um, and then this is just like my little test card that I use but there are so many in here as you can see it comes packaged uh, beautifully um, bring it out a bit so you can see so you get all of these postcards in here so um, you can see that some of them are you know that one's not too bad but look, look at the how fine the detail is here it's just some of it's just like really really detailed I, you know that one's okay as well and that one's all right for me because we're all we're all different in terms of what we what we like and don't like this one's this one I'd use pencil on you got fish so you've got images from the book of course and scale down images like the jellyfish. Seen that one? So yeah, you get you get lots and lots of different pictures here. I mean, fifty postcards. Again, you can get this on. Um, I'm only showing you a few of them, but you can get this on um, Amazon. There's the the whale one. I've actually got the Lost Ocean Artist Edition as well because. That's another book that I really, really like, just like Summer Nights. Okay, show you a couple more. And that's it. So, um, that's my postcard collection um, that I currently have. I definitely need to work in them more. Um, so, I hope I do and then I can show you them on my finished pages but anyway thank you so much um, for watching my video and um, liking and subscribing I hope you like this video as well and until next time see you later and look after yourself bye